Look, we believe this budget is pretty solid on the fundamentals. It makes very important investments in skills, a, a really major headline issue for the Australian Industry Group and its members. We feel its approach to infrastructure is quite sound and comprehensive in dealing not just with projects but with the governance surrounding them and encouraging private sector participation we think is good. The budget fundamentals in terms of responsibility and getting the budget back into surplus I think will take pressure off interest rates in, in the longer term. We remain concerned, however, that the dollar is going to pose a major risk to the economy over the next few years, and this, the budget is light on, in our view, in issues to deal with that. We welcome some support around uh, commercialisation, but it's fairly light, some money put into business capabilities, uh, but it's fairly small beans, and uh, we don't think goes far enough in terms of dealing with what is, does pose to be an important economic risk for Australia. Turning to the skills issue, the creation of the National Workforce Development and Productivity Agency is a reform. It's not just a new pot of money. There'll be a workforce development fund um, and there'll be new money for apprenticeships and a skills enhancement generally. But the great thing is that this agency creates a platform for a whole new partnership between government and industry on this matter. Skill shortages are a major microeconomic issue for Australia and we're very excited that the government have heeded AR Group's advice on the development and the implementation of this initiative initiative and we look forward to it being implemented. There is a lot of money taken out of defence. We're worried about the details of that which are fairly light on but clearly there's about a billion dollars potentially taken out of defence projects um, and there's already a lot of uncertainty in this space and uh, this will add to it. Um, the, there's very little measure um, to improve the anti-dumping redress and that's another measure. Exporters get no new support and uh, we're very unhappy about that and the uncertainty remains around R&D support and uh, there's nothing around that. So generally uh, solid on the fundamentals um, but we but falls short on some of these issues around the potential risks that the economy uh, uh, faces. Are you happy with the skilled migration uh, increase? Well, do you think there should be more? Well, we've, we're quite happy with that. We advocated that the government should return the skilled immigration intake to their level um, just planned before the GFC in 08 09. It falls short by about 5,000 places, so generally it's on the lower side of our recommendation but essentially accepts it, so we're not unhappy with that. And is there enough in this budget to protect manufacturers from? The high dollar. Well, I think this is where we be, do believe that the budget should have gone further. There are some some measures, but they're fairly small beans and certainly not enough to um, to protect the sector from one of the biggest shocks that it's ever had over the last 12 months with a 30% 30, 30 increase pre appreciation in the currency. Uh, do you think the changes to the carry forward losses... Uh uh, the taxation around them mm. uh, for nationally important infrastructure projects will encourage private sector. If you have a big ambition for infrastructure in Australia, you have to focus on private sector involvement. The Henry Review advocated that measure. I strongly supported it, and I'm very pleased to see it's there. I think it's a, a prudent measure, and I think it will um, provide assistance um, to ameliorating some of those risks in the early part of projects that really does deter investors from um, taking them on. So that's a welcome measure, and I, and I think the other issue is is loan be available for projects that actually pass the, the Infrastructure Australia guidelines. So I think that's a prudent governance measure around this kind of measure. So we're, I'm very pleased with, with that.